Okay, this is a 2002 Jeep Liberty. My project is to put a 2005 motor in here. In this video, I'll show some of the differences that you encounter along the way. Okay, so the big difference is the reluctor rings. This one is out of the out of the 2002 and this is out of the 2005 and there's a different number of teeth of course so you have to change to the appropriate reluctor ring uh, this is the camshaft sprocket this one's out of the 2005 and the 2002 has a different number of holes, a different pattern here <clears throat> and then just to show you where that reluctor ring goes this is the bottom of the engine and Here's the new reluctor ring because the one I had for the 2002 was bent, so I had to buy a new one. And that just works with the crankshaft position sensor. You can see sticking in in there. It's down here. Where is it? There's the connector. He sticks through the block and picks up those teeth as they go by. And the camshaft sensor is already, or camshaft sprocket wheel is already inside of here, but it's the same type of deal. The sensor for that is on the back. Okay, another difference is the exhaust manifold. This is the 2002 and it's got a band style clip that goes on here. This is from the 2005 and it's just got the, the bolts that I had to cut to get it out. But you have to change the exhaust manifold unless you're going to change more stuff downstream. E even these uh, heat shields are different. Uh, the 2002 has got washers that are, might be stuck on there, but it's a much flimsier piece of heat shield and it's already it's cracked on, on this one. I don't know if you can see it. So I use my 2005 heat shields, which are much stouter. And here's that band clamp for the exhaust on the 2002. Uh, the 2005 has this clip on the engine mount, which I think, if I remember right, it holds the oil catch pan for when you take the filter off. And that doesn't, it's not, wasn't on my 2002 for some reason. Uh, even the engine mounts are just slightly different. There's different casting and different amount of webbing here, but the holes and everything are the same. I think either would work fine. Uh, the crankshaft position sensor is different. In some of the catalogs, if you look at Napa, they have a part number for the 2002 that's different than 2005, and so does Mopar. But other auto stores show the same part. I went out and bought a new one because I didn't want to have any trouble, but I think you could use either one. Here's another very minor difference. The 2005 has this little clip that bolts on just above the oil filter. And I think that just holds an electrical cord, but the 2002 doesn't have it. I put it on just because I can always take it off later if I if it's in the way of something. Okay, the valve covers are different. Uh, they're essentially compatible. The 2002 has metal valve covers, and the 2005 had plastic valve covers. The only difference is the gasket is different between the two. So if you use whichever valve cover you use you have to get the gasket that corresponds to that model year. Okay these are the injectors for the two different year liberties. This is the 2002 injector. This is the 2005. Some places list the same injector as working for, for both years. Other places have a different part number. There's a little difference. I don't know if you can see that. A little difference at the end, but it, I suspect they're probably compatible. And these are the O-rings, the seals, that are pretty rock hard on mine, so I'm going to replace them. The, the green one goes on the bottom towards the, on the block, and the blue one, the blue one goes to the uh, fuel rail. Okay, here's a quick, better look at that reluctor ring right here. And you can see the teeth here that are sensed by this crankshaft position sensor, which is right, right there. And he just sticks in here. I don't know if you can 
might see up in there. He sticks in there. Right. Right there next to the wheel. Or the re reluctor ring. And then there's the camshaft position sensor. This is all in the passenger side of the engine. And then, just since it's easy, here's the, uh, uh, not that easy. There's the oil pressure sensor. There's a little surprise in my engine. I was blowing compressed air in there, <clears throat> and I saw something move. And I dug around. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. But there's a looks like a threaded rod or maybe a bolt in the water jacket. You can see it in there. So I'm gonna try to dig that out. Okay, I don't know what this thing is. It looks like it's broken off. The end here looks like it's broken off. And it looks like it has like a nozzle. Maybe it's got some uh, vents or jets at the end here. I'm hoping it's nothing important. It shouldn't be in the water jacket. But anyway. Here's another difference between the two years. These are the exhaust manifold studs. The ones with the threaded tops here go on the four outside you know, corners. And there's two bolts in the middle for a total of six. But the stud itself, the 2002, doesn't have this washer on it like the 2005 does. And all, my, all the bolts on the 05 have that washer. And none have it on the... Oh, two. So I don't think somebody like had it apart and forgot to put them on. They actually don't slide off. They're kind of dimpled so that they won't go over the threads. So it seems unlikely that anybody took it apart. Might not make a lot of difference, but there's a slight difference for you. Okay, another <coughs> difference on these studs is the uh, the 2002 studs are 13 millimeter. I had to use one since I broke one. Coming out, but the 2005 studs here are 10 millimeter. Here's the 2005 belt tensioner. It's a little different. This is plastic wheel. Here's the 2002. This has got a metal wheel. It's a slightly larger diameter. I'm not sure if it's enough to affect the belt length needed, but small difference there. Okay, here's another difference between the 02 and 05. The oil pressure uh, idiot light switch, I guess, uh, is a three terminal device. Let's see that. So three, term three terminals in there. And the 2005 has just a single terminal in there. So this must be maybe too high pressure, too low pressure in the ground, and this is just the lug that gets grounded for the idiot light. And then I also noticed that this guy, I have to use a 12 point socket, they're one and six, one and one sixteenth inch, it won't go into this, the six point won't take, won't, won't work on him, I don't know if it's, maybe it's metric, whereas this guy, he fits in here just fine. So that's a good thing to change before you get the engine in, like I did, and go to find out the wiring harness doesn't line up right. Okay, comparing the intake manifold boxes, this is the 2002, and this connector here is a three, three position, and on the 2005, it's a single contact. Also, on the 2002, there's a sensor here in the intake box. Uh, 2005, nothing. Just a plug. I found another unfortunate difference. <clears throat> the 2002 has a two-pin connector here for the fan. <clears throat> My 2005 shroud has three 
position. Three contact connector in here. You can't see, <clears throat> but this vehicle has the uh, heavy duty cooling system, so it's got the mechanical fan and the electrical fan both. <clears throat> Whereas the 2002 just had the electric fan. So going into the 2002, I was going to use the the uh, high-end cooling system, but I don't know if I can now because the shroud from the 2002 won't go in without hitting this fan. So I'm going to have to take the fan off and just go with the standard electric, which I didn't really want to do. Uh, here's another problem. <clears throat> Not really an engine issue, but the battery from my 2005 Jeep is too wide, too wide this way <clears throat> for the tray in the 2002 Jeep. So, looks like I gotta buy a new battery. Okay, I'm getting close to the end. Here is the 2005 air cleaner and this pipe that goes from the rear of each of the heads up to here and into this uh, air cleaner box port. This is the, I think it's the crankcase vent, and there's just a little, down there, a little filter down in there that doesn't show. This is on the 2005. Now on the, well first I'll show you where those pipes connect. Oh, you can, this is hard to get in here, but you can kind of see that tube there that's on the back of the driver's side head and there's one on the passenger side too it's right behind this uh, right there so on the 2002 Jeep there's this hose that plugs onto the passenger side and there's another one just like it on the driver's side and they go into this box here one on, what is it, one on each side, one there, and one there. So it's just a little different routing. I assume there's a breather in there as well. But that's the 2002, so another slight difference. 